We are living the digital nomad life today with my special guest, social media strategist, Kathy Stover, on today's Super Boomer Lifestyle Show. Hello, everyone. Karen Glasser here, and welcome to the show. I am so glad that you're here. The Super Boomer Lifestyle Show is about super boomers and beyond. It's about being healthy. It's about, it's about showing up in the way that you are. And today we have a special guest and then another special, special guest that I'm going to be talking about as we get into the show. Um, if you're here on replay, terrific. Make sure you put a comment there because I will go back in there and uh, respond. I know that Kathy will as well, as well as my other special guests. If you're here live, even better, tell us that you're here live. And of course, share, share, share. My special guest today is Kathy Stover. Kathy Stover is an old, old friend of mine. She's not old. She's just an old friend of mine. And we've known each other a very long time. And one of the things that I love about Kathy is, is that we are actually digital nomads together. We we have known each other a long time, but we, we went on a reality TV show together, right? We'll talk yes. about that. And um, she is a digital media strategist. We'll talk about what that means as well. And so without further ado, I bring in my special guest, Kathy Stover. Karen hey. Glasser. Hi. Hey, I'm, hey. I'm so excited to be here. I should say, hey, y'all. How you doing since I'm hey. in Alabama now? You're a, you're an Alabamian now. I and, am. And that's where the story, this is actually where the show is coming from, right? We, we talked about this because you just recently moved to Alabama from uh, Northern California area. So first, you know, as, as I like to do on every single show, I like to talk about super boomers and what my definition of a super boomer is. So here's my definition, and then I'm gonna ask you what your definition is. So okay. super boomers are not defined by age at all. They are defined by how they show up in life and how they react and how they love the age that they're in. That's my definition of a super boomer. Kathy Stover, what's your definition? Well, you know what, I think super boomers are bold and creative and adventurous. I think we're fearless, but we have hearts of gold and we're world changers as well. Help everybody. I love that, world changers. We are, and you know, mm -hmm. I, I think we live in a time right now where women in particular are, are stepping into their power. We're empowered at this point to do anything that we want to do, no matter what the age is, no matter what somebody else tells us to do. You know that my, my, my mantra is always just, just watch me. When somebody says, oh, you're too old to do that, or, no, or yeah. you, you're, those are fighting words. Those are fighting words. <laughs> just, just watch me. So, uh, you know, our, our um, topic today is living the digital nomad life, right? Right. And the reason why we picked this is because you went on the road uh, on purpose to move from Sacramento area to Alabama, but you have lived your life working from almost anywhere. And that's actually how we connected that we met at an event. You were working there. I was working there and we work from anywhere. You and I, though, we really did the digital nomad thing when we went below deck Mediterranean. Let's talk yes, a little bit did. about that. How cool was that? I know we went to Greece and we both did all of the technology from land and from the yacht that we were on for three days. It was amazing. The other cool thing, I get to thinking about it. We, we've been actually on three other cruises together besides that. Yes, we And have. we also did that. So it doesn't matter where you go. If you're on, on land, on sea, um, on an airplane, I mean, you can do, you can do it from the air now. Anywhere, you a, can motor take a motor home. A motor home, home wherever you're home. at. You can right. take whatever it is that you do with you. You know, and I think that probably some people might be thinking, well, you know, I take my phone with me. I've got it at the store. You know, I, I take it everywhere so I can do it wherever I go now. And it's, it's no big deal. But it really is because you can operate absolutely everything <laughs> from that, including a successful business. So, so true. And it's funny because I was one of those naysayers that said, I can't run my business on my phone. I have to have a computer. I have to have a laptop. There's no way I can do that. And, and now I run my business on my phone. 
I, I truly do. And I was get I was very excited because I actually I'm gonna I'm putting some comments up right now. Working from anywhere is best. Yes, it is. Um, I actually got a, a tablet that is a total mirror of my Android phone. So it's nice. a little bit bigger for those of us who are blind. We were talking about that earlier. And and when I bring up my other guests, you're gonna yeah, we're all <laughs> we're, you guys are taking your glasses off. I just leave them on at this point. So if you were gonna describe digital nomad, what would be a really good definition for that? Well, I think a digital nomad is what we've been saying, and that is that you can have a successful business doing anything on an iPad, a laptop, or a tel or a phone, a mobile phone, a mobile device. And it, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be like what I do, working with clients where mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm doing the digital thing as far as marketing goes. You can be operating an online store. Um, yeah. You can do direct drop shipping, affiliate marketing. There are tons of things you can do. Videos, just like we're doing now. Just so like we're doing now. Pretty much anything in making a side income from it or an income in its totality. Well, what's really interesting and what I'm really attracted to with you, Kathy, is that you started in the corporate world and then and then you, after leaving the corporate world, you created an entire industry for yourself. You are an affiliate master. And for those of you who don't know what an affiliate is, is, is literally Kathy knows how to pick the right products and services and then she becomes sort of like the influencer that sells the products. Um, she is a digital master. She is actually the brains behind the Super Boomer Lifestyle Store. She's the one who who actually built the store. Um, this is these are things that you do. And and so what I find fascinating is is that a lot of people would say we're not supposed to do that at this age, right? Right. Why not? <laughs> right. Why? Why not? Why not? You talk about leverage, attract, build, and grow. Talk a little bit about that. What does that mean? Well, I think leveraging, you have to leverage your time and your experience in whatever it is to me that brings you joy. Because if you're leveraging your time and your experience doing something that you don't like, chances are it's not going to be as successful as it would be if you're doing something that you really like and have fun doing. So there are quite a few people that are saying, me too, I work on my phone. Guys, if you haven't commented, let us know. Do you work, awesome. are you a digital nomad? Do you use your phone? Do you use your tablet and go out there in the world and basically never have to go into your office? How cool would that be? Ever have to go into your office? Beautiful. I totally Beautiful. love that. So I told you, Kathy, that I had a special guest that I was gonna bring in because um, I had a really great experience last week. I, I, I connected, reconnected with somebody that I literally had not spoken to probably in about 10 years. Wow. Um, I had stayed connected with her son, who I've known since he was a little guy, uh, but I had not talked to Lori Kleiman in almost 10 years. And I've been following her on Instagram and she's been following me on Instagram. And you know, we reached out to each other and we got on a phone call last week. And when she told me what she was doing, I said, oh my gosh, you have to get on this on the show with me with Kathy Stover. So let me introduce her first and then let's talk about why this was just so great, right? So her name is Lori Kleiman. She is a life and positive aging coach and she's worked for the past nine years coaching women one-on-one, -on -one, uh, executive coaching, facilitating workshops, and she's currently focusing on positive aging how our relationship is to this time in our life. So I'm going to go ahead and bring Lori in. Okay. And she should be here momentarily. And there she is. Hey, Lori, how you doing? Hi, I'm Lori. Good. Hi, Karen and Kathy. So happy to be here. Well, we are so happy that you're here as well. And the reason why we had this conversation and I said you need to come on the show is you told me something that you were going to be doing at this stage in your life as a super boomer. You wanna share what you're doing? Absolutely, okay. And notice the glasses are on because <laughs> I wanna see who I'm talking to. <laughs> yes. Um, so yes, Karen and I had, you know, I had been following Karen and I was so um, loving that we were connected to this whole community of women who were over 50 and who are in all different ways doing the most inspiring things in their life. And I have become part of what informs the work that I do is that the older I get, 
absolutely the bolder I've become in my life. Yes. And with every experience, it's almost like it propels me forward to the next adventurous activity. So I shared with Karen that I am about to leave the uh, place that I've been living in for the last five years. And I am going to be having a, well, I'm trying to come up with a sexier term, but I will say <laughs> that I had referenced being a couch surfer because I'm going to share that because it was funny. But then I actually said to Karen, I don't think I want to use that. But I like that I'm just going to be a nomad. Really what that looks like is that I'm going to be taking some time to uh, kind of I'm not going to be in a permanent residence and I'm going to be considering where my next move is. Wow. I have some options and I'm extremely excited. Um, you should see the looks that I get from a lot of the people in my world who can't I'm even sure. imagine at this age wanting to pack up and move. Now, I will tell you that I live a, a minimalist lifestyle, which has actually been more so as I get older. And if you told me 10 years ago, even 10 years ago, that I would be doing this, I would tell you, you are insane. I would <laughs> never have imagined I could do this. But I, um, my, I am expanding my business in a very big way. I'm very focused on this niche, let's call it. And, uh, and I can, I can build my business anywhere I am. I know. How and cool absolutely. is that? It's so <laughs> incredible. Like it actually, I get like goosebumps and more excited every time I talk about this. So, so Joey, um, Joey says, go for it, sister. How fun. Yeah. <laughs> because this is so cool. I think it's resonating with people. How cool is this that you're doing it? Is it scary? You know, I wouldn't use scary. Um, I will tell you that because there are so many kinds of balls in the air, let's say right now, there's a lot of change in my life. I would, I cycle through a whole lot of emotion and that looks like everything from, whoa, what's next? Woo wee, you know, to then the realities of Couch surfing. How, how I'm going to feel when I don't walk into my own right. place and where there might be people around me. Though I, in one of my experiences I'm about to have, I, I will, I mean, I will find time alone in any place that I am because that's important and that's how I fuel myself. But um, yeah, so I, no, I wouldn't say scared, but. So, you know, what I find fascinating and guys, we're not suggesting that you do exactly what Lori's doing, right? You know, move out of your, your place, your residence and go, you know, what did we call it? A nomadic adventure. Is that what we yes, a nomadic, nomadic adventure? adventure. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't think that any, anyone is suggesting on this show that, that everyone go and do that any more yeah. than we're suggesting that you get in your motor home and go across country and, and do this, this, this particular kind of life is suited to some and not suited to others. Um, but there are different de degrees, right? There are different degrees of being a digital nomad. As a matter of fact, if you look at the workspace, the co-working spaces that are out there now, now, where people don't have an office, they don't have a space, they don't have a, a place that they go. They go to these co-working spaces mm -hmm. no matter where they are. And they don't necessarily know each other either. I and, mean, it's just a, a whole right. group of people that are working, doing similar things, for sure. What do you love about um, being a digital nomad, Kathy? What would be the, the highlight of, of what you do that is the what, number one reason that you do this? I would say the freedom to choose what I do and the time. You know, and it's not yeah. that I have a four hour work week by all means. I design it, the time and what I do around what suits me best. So I like to say though, if you're, if you're gonna be a nomad, you better have the right stuff, the right equipment, right? You need to have a suitcase to put your clothes in. And Laura, you probably, since you're in the minimalism you know, world at this point, maybe one suitcase will work for you. Not for me, but- uh, No, I need more. <laughs> I still need more. Um, this is one of my favorite suitcases. This is from the um, the Super Boomer Lifestyle. It's great. It's pink. I love it. And, it. and it rolls. I mean, so for those of us who are on the go all the time, this is a great thing to have. You can go check it out in the Super Boomer Lifestyle show. I'm going to take this down again. Um, yes. So let's talk a little bit about um, 
desires of, of where to go next. So I, Lori, you're, you're going to, you're, you're expanding your business, which is great in, in this positive aging community. What, mm -hmm. what is your, your next next? Cause I like to use that as my expression. When people say I'm going to retire, I don't, I don't use that word. It's not a retire. What is your next next? What are you going to do in this next reincarnation of you? So you're expanding your business. What is that next next? Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so and I, I do want to reference back to something, Karen, that I thought was really important that you spoke about, that what we're talking about doesn't exactly might not appeal to a lot of the women who are listening to us or people who are listening to us. Um, but what I like to consider is that there's maybe a piece of that, that for each of us, it can look very different. So maybe there's just a part of having a little more freedom in your life. And that can look a lot of different ways, right? Yes, so yeah. Rose, um, Rose just said freedom. freedom. Joey, yes. Joey just said freedom. That freedom. is a yeah. very, very, very big word. Now, I will tell you that freedom is in the top of my list of uh, values right now. I feel like the, I actually feel like with every day, with every decision that I'm making, um, I feel more expansive and freer. And I will tell mm -hmm. you, I've been, I've been laughing with some, you know, colleagues and friends about this. I say that you might not like, you might not like or want my life, but you might want my mindset because yeah. it's really the mindset That's that sweet. has played a huge role for me. Okay, so back to your question, and I'm sorry to you know uh, go off on a tangent. My next next, I, I have, I will say, I'm thinking bigger than I ever have. I actually, my practice right now is one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, I do workshops, but I would like to start speaking. And ah. I have, uh, quite a few different areas that I have a lot to say about <laughs> and um, all actually having to do with every bit of experience that I've had that brings me to this time of life. So, um, yeah. And as far as, you know, I do own a home in the community that I raised my uh, kids in. So, that is a possibility at some point for me to live in that home, which right. I, I just want to say gives me a little bit of that little tiny piece of grounding. Right. That right. I, if I didn't have it, I'd find my that feeling in another place. But it, it, it is a little bit. It is helpful to me to consider I, that. And I can, I totally understand that. You know, uh, sometimes we just need that. I think we all need a little bit of that security. Absolutely. Kathy, what's your next next? Where, what, where are you doing next? My next next is being worked on right now. I can't share it yet, but it's coming. I have some exciting stuff coming, but um, I'm kind of going in a little bit different direction um, with, with some of the things, some of the knowledge that I have and mm -hmm and have garnered over the past few years, but um, super excited. Well, I, okay, now you just, you totally tweak my interest here, but I know, <laughs> I know you're not gonna share. You know, you had mentioned earlier that, you know, that we can do video on the road. We can do a lot of these things. One of my, this is, uh, this happens to be the camera that I use uh, on my laptop. I, I plug it in, I plug it into my desktop because I wanna have a slightly different quality when I'm doing my, my shows. But I can also use my phone when I do video. Uh, let us know if you're doing any live streaming, guys. Put it in the um, in the comments down there. Are you using your phone to, to create content when you're out being a digital nomad? Because that really is, um, content is queen, as we like to say, or most people say king, but I say queen. Content, mm -hmm. uh, you know, content is queen, and creating it while you're a nomad and you're on the road is very, very cool. Kathy, when you and I were on the high seas in, in Greece and in Naxos, um, mm -hmm. uh, on the yacht with Below Deck Mediterranean, and we went there with with a um, a set of things that we knew we were going to do, right? Yes. <laughs> I mean, the two of us were crazy, right? We were making notes. We were taking pictures. What else were you doing? Because I have pictures of you taking pictures. Videos, mm. same thing. Lots of pictures, lots of videos, lots of notes so that, you know, we could keep track of what it was that we were going to be tagging and, and working on when we got back. 
But and, what a fun adventure. What a fun adventure. And you actually went on again. You were on another one, right? I was you went on below deck, deck mm -hmm, right? last year and went to Tahiti for oh, a darn. few days. I know. Oh. Well, That's lot, truly lots of fun. Same thing. Lots yeah. of pictures, videos. Um, yeah, you know, and I think that anytime we do anything, we can utilize it for marketing whatever it is that we're doing. It doesn't matter if we're creating recipes or doing craft projects. You know, if you're doing a coaching program, health related, spiritually related, there are things around us that we can snap pictures of. Or vid take videos of and use it later. I do a lot of stuff with the sun and, and the moon and the stars and the skies and, and the clouds. I, I had somebody recently say, why don't you ever take pictures of you? I am so enamored with just the beauty when I look up at, at the sky and plants and, and those kinds of things. And they're a beautiful backdrop for sharing just about anything you want to share. And I think when we do that and when you do that and when Lori is going to do that as she's out and doing her thing and when I do that, we are actually bringing people into our world and we're bringing mm -hmm. people into our mindset and 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 what we like and, and the fun things that are. Maybe we actually encourage people, I think, and I don't know if, if uh, anybody out there, we got Wendy Y says, I love clouds. I see the faces in clouds all the time. There you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kathy? Meet Wendy. Yes, I know. I love that. I love that. <laughs> but I think we, I think we allow others who uh, who are super boomers to say, oh, you know, maybe I can do that too. Maybe next time I'm out, I'm going to create some content. Maybe I'll throw my camera out and I'll take some pictures. I'll do some video or I'll do something like that because I'm out there. You don't have to be sitting. I think. I think the, really the message is you don't have to be sitting at your desk in an office yeah. and never move. I don't know about you guys. I mean, I'm sitting here. And, uh, no, maybe I should tell you. Um, <laughs> you get pajama bottoms on. I'm in my pajama <laughs> bottoms. What can I say? But, but, but the reality is, is that we don't have to do it this way. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's the message. You know, both of you have websites, and I want to share some of this stuff with you right now. I know that you're going to want to get in touch with Kathy Stover. You can go meet her over at kathystover.com. You can also connect with her on Facebook at... Facebook.com forward slash Kathy Stover connects. I'll be putting all of these links in the in the future blog post that comes out on the show. And then you can go check um, Kathy out on Instagram and Twitter because I know that she will tweet you back and follow you back at Kathy Stover on both IG and Twitter, on in Instagram and Twitter. Um, and Lori has her site as well, and it's Lori Kleiman Life Coach.com. You can check out all the new and exciting things that are coming out of Lori's. Uh, digital office out there and you can also check her out on Facebook at facebook.com Lori D. Kleiman and finally you can check her out on Instagram at Lori Kleiman I want to tell you a funny story Lori I don't know if you're on Twitter or not but Kathy sent no. me a, no you're not we know you're not because <laughs> Kathy sent me a message I had put a post out there I mm -hmm. tagged you or who I thought was you and right. Kathy sent me a message. She says, "Who is this dark-haired lady?" That's right. a human resources speaker. <laughs> exactly. She's in Connecticut, I think. And yeah, we get confused. It, it happens, but that's very yeah. <laughs> so there are different ways that you. And I'm going to encourage you guys to get in touch with both Lori and Kathy. They have so much to say. They're both super boomers. Now, uh, Lori, I realize I did not ask you what your definition of a super boomer is. So. Lori Kleiman, okay. what's your definition of a super boomer? All right. I think that I I, I liked what I had uh, written to you. And I think I said that a super boomer for me is a woman who is engaged in her life. She's awake. She's aware. She's driven by in all different ways to embrace this beautiful time. And that's how I define a super boomer. I, I think that's absolutely beautiful. And I, I agree with that. I'm sure Kathy does as well. I yeah. think we are at a wonderful time in our lives. Would you agree? Absolutely. Everything is possible. Anything yeah. can happen. And, and it's going to. I, I do believe it's going to. Um, any of you who are 
who are, are listening today that are live, let us know about your, your dreams and, and that anything is possible. What is your next next? Put it in the comments. Um, if you share with us, I promise I'll actually put it in the blog post. I'll give you a shout out so that you too can be part of this whole super boomer lifestyle. So um, any last minute comments? I want to go to Lori first and I'm going to drop you out. Lori, any last minute comments you want to share with, um, with our audience today? Oh, well, uh, first of all, thank you, Karen. And so much fun to be here. And I so enjoyed uh, having this conversation with Kathy too. And I love this topic so much. So I appreciate every way in which we can expand our message and share our experiences with each other. So thank you. Loved well, it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate you coming on in short notice because it really was kind of impromptu and I just went, oh. it, I, I mean, I actually forgot to tell Kathy. Kathy says, somebody else coming on the show? So <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of in the moment, but I'm so glad that you did. I'm going to drop you in the thank green you. room um, and then we'll Great. talk afterward. Thanks. Is she a blast or what? She's awesome. I love her message and I, I love too. what she is stepping out to do. Oh, I do too. Um, That's incredible. Kathy, I, I adore you. Uh, you know, we've been on a journey together for quite a while. Um, I, I don't know what our future is going to hold. I'm sure we're going to do some wild and crazy things. Uh, and and <laughs> I, sure. I, want, I actually want everyone to know that within the next week or so, we are going to be doing the actual launch of the yes. store, of the Amazon, everything. Everything is going to go live. Joey Garrity is going to be on. We're so excited. It's going to be awesome. And I want to thank you because I know it's a labor of love. And um, I so appreciate you. Any last minute thoughts mm. you want to share? You know, I just want to tell women, all the women and men out there, step outside the box, be courageous, be fearless, put yourself out there. You can do anything you set your mind to and your heart to. And don't let anybody tell you that it's not a good idea or that you can't do it. Amen. Stand, stand strong, be brave, and step outside that box. I, amen. I love that. I love that. Let's all step outside that box and become yes. and become the nomads that we know we can be. Thank you for joining on the show. Um, I know how busy you are. And Karen, um, thank you so much for having me. And and I'm so glad that you have settled in in Alabama, y'all. Y'all, I know. <laughs> And you know I adore you too. Thank you, thank you so much for bringing me on. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm going to drop you out into the green room. See you in a little bit. So how fun is this? We have two super boomers today. They are awesome. They are living the life. Um, in, in many respects, I, you know, I'm not a nomad as much as I was before and, and I'm kind of jealous and I think that that's time for me to start doing that again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do what I normally do at this time and that is the super boomer moment. This is where I share a little bit about, um, and a very little about, about how I feel about the show. Uh, first of all, I want to thank my guests. You know, we are women. We are powerful. We are fearless and we can do anything we want to do. And what is very clear with both of these wonderful, wonderful spiritual women that were on the show today, um, they believe that too. They are not stopped by whatever age they are, whatever age that is. And it doesn't really matter because that's really the message here. We are super boomers and we can do anything we want. I, and I, I really encourage everyone to go out there and share the message, really share the message that you too can be a super boomer. You too are a super boomer. You are fearless and you are empowered to do anything that you want to do. So as we get towards the end of the show, I want to thank you again for joining us because we know that you have a choice as to where to spend your time, how to spend your time. And I want to thank you because you all chose to spend your time with us today. So go on out and give somebody an awesome day and we'll see you next time on the next episode of the Super Boomer Lifestyle Show. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.